Shots of children with and without disabilities playing and learning together. Resource package on collecting and analysing data on persons with disabilities. Introduction. Welcome and thank you for watching this video. My name is Claudia Kappa and I'm the focal point for disability data in UNICEF. As we all know, disability data and research has been terribly inadequate, particularly for low and middle income countries. This has mainly been due to limited investments in data collection. When data have been gathered, different methodology, different definitions, different methods have been used, which has resulted in statistics of varying scope and quality and has made comparison of statistics across countries problematic. Data are essential for the planning of services and for monitoring and ensuring the participation of persons with disabilities. The Sustainable Development Goal clearly states that disaggregated data are needed and countries should collect data that will allow them to report on the achievement of the different Sustainable Development Goals for all people including persons with disabilities. Ensuring that persons with disability are not left behind requires systematic data collection efforts based on tools that reflect international definitions and standards and do not use stigmatizing or offensive language. This is the key to producing reliable statistics on persons with disabilities. In the last five years, we made important progress. There are now tools that are available for countries to use that can allow countries to collect information on persons with disabilities, including children with disabilities. These tools have been developed in collaboration with a number of stakeholders, including national statistical offices, governments, academics, UN and other development agencies, and most importantly, representatives of disabled persons organizations. UNICEF is a proud member of the Washington Group on Disability Statistics. This is a very important mechanism that brings together national statistical offices and international agencies with a joint goal of developing and promoting standardized data collection tools on persons with disabilities. Together with the Washington Group, UNICEF has developed a new questionnaire that can be used to identify children with disabilities. We are very excited that this initiative has generated a lot of support and enthusiasm. But now financial resources, technical assistance, and capacity building opportunities and tools are necessary to support the use of the module at the country level. This video serves as an introduction to five clips that are meant to promote awareness about disability statistics, discuss challenges and opportunities, and share information about the available tools that countries can use to collect data on persons with disabilities. There are five videos as part of this training material. The first video discusses challenges in collecting data on persons with disabilities and review the availability of statistics. The second video will provide an overview of the child functioning module that has been developed by UNICEF and the Washington Group on Disability Statistics. The third video presents the work of the Washington Group on Disability Statistics to develop a module that can be used to collect information on adults with disabilities. And the last video presents different strategies, techniques, and ways in which data can be used to present the situation of persons with disability and promote change. Mitch Loeb from the Washington Group on Disability Statistics will be my partner in delivering the videos. We hope you will find this material useful and relevant for your work. Thank you. Children with disabilities and schools around the world. UNICEF for every child data.unicef.org slash topic slash child hyphen disability